in 1975, I was asked to photograph the pantomime because I think their photographer let them down and I happened to be here. And that was the first production where I'd been production photographer. And I went on then to uh, work for the Royal Shakespeare Company and the American Conservatory Theatre in San Francisco. And I was the arts photographer for the Times and National Theatre. So it all led really from that one production here. I took pictures here until the early 80s and it included all the big concerts at the time like Ziggy Stardust with David Bowie, uh, Elton John, but a big uh, proportion of concerts then were the, um, the Black Soul and Motown and also the Philly Sound. They came over from America and, and they played here and you got these tours and as a result of spending time photographing for Four Tops I became the official Motown Four Tops photographer. Well I think the, the, the fact that Fairfield is being closed is criminal really. It's on many levels. Obviously to me personally, um, I am probably going to stop take, pick, taking pictures when the place closes because I've got no real enthusiasm to go off and start trying to take pictures anywhere else. From a, someone who's been brought up in Croydon, it's a real major blow for the arts in Croydon. I think that uh, it's a major blow for the arts in South London and I think that once it closes you lose the uh, audience and you lose the producers and you lose the momentum and it has been said that it can take up to five years to get that back because once even when it opens pff, you're not going to get audiences straight away you're not going to get producers straight away they're not going to risk bringing a show a big pantomime in if there's not the audience and it takes time to build that up and um, so someone's got to come in with big pockets to keep it going for a few years while they rebuild it so the great fear is of course will that ever happen but on a good night here, I don't think the audience notice the old crack or the old, <laughs> the old stain on the wall. Overall, I think it, the fact that it's a major venue in South London overrides all that and that should be maintained, which it's not. <laughs>